Hi parents, before we start the episode, remember that your family can enjoy hundreds of fun and educational free videos for kids of all ages. Be sure to subscribe and get all the new shows and updates at PragerUKids.com. Kids, crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we're making a DIY book cover to learn about the story of books and how schools started in America. They were a lot different than they are now. Oh, <laughs> we have a question. Is it true that kids used to go to school in a house? Yes, very smart. When schools first started, many took place in what seemed like a house, often called a one-room schoolhouse. Children of all different ages and grades learn together in one room with one teacher. Can you even imagine? I'll tell you a little bit more about it, but first, let's take a look at what you'll need to make your own book cover today. Brown craft paper, this is the kind the post office uses, tape, stickers, colorful paper. As usual, I'm using red, white, and blue. Pictures, anything you like to decorate, a glue stick, laminating paper, and of course, a book to cover. First step, let's take our brown craft paper and measure our book on top of it so that we know how much paper we need. And open it. There we go. Plenty of paper to cover the outside of this book. Next, I'm going to fold our paper so that it fits the outside of our book exactly. Slide the book out so that you can get a really good even fold. Very nice, all the way. And the book will go right on top, just like that. Same thing with the other side. I like to fold the paper on top first so that we know the exact height of the book to get it right. And then fold it all the way down on that crease. There we go. Put the book back on top. Okay, very good. See? Perfectly even. Almost. Now, flip all the pages so you're at the back cover. And we're gonna fold this extra on the side over, just like we did the other parts. Move the book away. Get a good crease. Now you'll see that we have these little pockets right here. One pocket, two pocket. Put the back cover of your book inside. There we go. Now we're gonna do the same with the other side, but first, close the book to make sure we get the correct measurements for when we fold over and it fits. Fold it just like this. There we go. And front cover inside the pockets gentle with your book. It's a perfect fit. There we go. Just like that. Now, before we get to decorating, let's talk about how schools started in America. The Puritans, who first settled in America during the 1600s, they came here, if you remember, for religious freedom. They wanted to worship God without England telling them how to do it. The Bible was a main part of how they learned to read and think. In the year 1635, the first public school in America started. It was called the Boston Latin School. Famous founding fathers like Benjamin Franklin and John Hancock were students there. And this school still runs today, with students enrolled in 7th through 12th grades. As you can see, I have all different combinations of red, white, and blue paper here. I'm just gonna have a good time, cut them up, and glue them to my blank book cover. Be careful with scissors and ask a parent for help if you need some. You can cover your book cover however you want. Different shapes, different sizes. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be fun. Glue. it on. This is really fun to do at the beginning of a school year to protect your new textbooks because you want to take good care of them, right? Right. Oh, the 
place to spot. We're not done yet. During the 1600s, 1700s, and 1800s, American schools used the Bible as a textbook. Students often learned their ABCs with Bible names, like A is for Adam, B is for Boaz, C is for Caleb. Many schools even started the day with a prayer and a Bible reading. America's founding fathers wanted people in America to be educated with morals and religion because the United States was created as a republic. And in a republic, power comes from the people. It was important for citizens to be smart and know the difference between right and wrong in order to have a great country. And this is still very important. You know what else is important? Decorating this even more. Why do you think I have all the stickers? Helping hands! We need an eagle, yes? Yes. Hey, Otto! Love this guy. Let's flip this over. Before there were books, there were scrolls. Scrolls were used to share stories and information in the ancient world. People soon figured out how to stack and bind the pages together to make them easier to read. And this was called a codex. Many of these first types of books contained scripture. So basically, they were Bibles. Now, as time passed, books became more popular. Then, in the 1400s, the printing press machine was invented by a man named Johannes Gutenberg and made bookmaking much faster, which means people started reading and learning much faster. This is done, but if you want to protect your collage, I'll show you how to take this book cover to the next level. Gently remove your book out from the cover you just made. Put the book aside. It's going to go back inside in just a moment. Now, get your laminating paper. Laminating paper is sticky on one side, but clear on the other. Don't touch it too much. You might get stuck. Roll out the laminating paper all the way, just like that. So the clear part is face down. Now, put your book cover on top. We want to make sure we have enough to cover the whole thing across. Now, I'll cut the other end very carefully, right on the line. This way, we have enough to fold over to the inside of our book cover. Are you ready? We are going to peel off very carefully the backside of the laminating paper. Try not to touch the sticky part. Helping hands! Oh, thank you. This is very tricky, but we're going to try because why not? All the way. Keep it flat. I told you not to touch the sticky part, and I'm touching the sticky part. Gentle. If you have helping hands like I do, thank you. Have your helping hands hold one side of the laminating paper down, and then put something on the edge of the other side to hold it down because you're going to want to take your book cover and place it flat on top, right in the middle. Gently. Press from the inside out if you can. Now fold the outside edges in and press down gently. Same with the other side. See? We still have our pockets to put our book inside. Now I'm going to get rid of the extra laminating paper on the top and bottom of our cover, because we don't need it. Same with the other side. <gasps> there we go! Nice and protected. Let's get our book back inside. Into the pockets. <laughs> Looks great! Good job! 
lab. Almost done, look at that. I have an idea. Googly eyes. <laughs> They're silly, but they make me happy. Let's stick them on. What do you think? Eyes wide open, ready to read? You bet you are. Listen, George Washington once said, in proportion as the structure of a government gives force to public opinion, it is essential that public opinion should be enlightened. Which basically means everyone who wants to make a country great should be informed and educated and read books. Think of that next time you're at school. We hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. What are you looking at? Let's read. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.